what is the mission today? The mission today is cinematography. I've never done very much of it. And uh, this is gonna be my first try. So I bought my, brought my good camera with me. I got a camera, uh, it's a Sony, I think it's HDR 260. Um, one of their like handy cam models. And uh, I've just, I've used the crap out of it. If you go onto my uh, original channel, um, you can see some other stuff that I've shot with that. I've shot uh, triathlons. Um, my dad used to do triathlons, and so I've shot a couple of triathlons with it. And, uh, you know, just some family stuff around the house. And uh, it's a great camera. I really like the camera. I think it's probably, well, it's a high-level personal camera. It's not a professional quality camera by any means, but it's definitely higher quality than any personal camera I've ever owned. Okay, I'm back. You guys ever watched uh, Roadkill? It's a show on Motor Trend with uh, David Freiberger and uh, Finnegan. And dude, those guys are hilarious. That show is amazing. I think half the time I spend on YouTube is spent watching them and going back and watching old ch old videos of theirs. But so I watched a video the other day and they were in Forest Grove. And they stopped at the auto zone that is right behind me even though they blurred it out. Sorry guys, I'm not supposed to out you on YouTube, am I? They stopped at the auto part store. And there's a Mr. Policeman like four cars up, so they gotta be nice. So if you haven't watched Roadkill, I'm plugging Roadkill. Finnegan, you're welcome. That's a buffalo right there. Can you see him? Buffaloes, woo, stay on the road. Buffaloes, lots of buffaloes. I think it's huge. I think the seat height on that is well, huge. But he's got his misses over there too. Um, Alright, I'll be right back. I always meet the coolest people. The guy up there on that BMW that you guys saw when I rode in. It's pretty cool. He's sitting out here. So I'm Googling his bike. Looks like they're gonna ride up. I'm gonna try to ride up and I think I think I'm done making videos for tonight. I think I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna shoot a time lapse. Of the sun going down over the lake next to my bike. It's still raining on my mind, you know. I just what's the next step? I feel like I've learned how to ride. I mean, I, I know what the next step is. I know what the next step is. It's, it's getting more skill. But I guess my question is, at what cost? Like, I feel like I'm, like, hauling butt. But after playing some of that video back, I'm not. So is it the video playing tricks on me, and I... I'm just expecting too much, or or what is it? You know, I I want to get better. I want to keep learning and keep writing, and I know there's always something to learn. I just I feel like if I push it too hard, too far, at one of these points, I'm going to I'm going to have an accident. You know, people tell me that. I've, not necessarily to me, but I've just, I've heard people say, you know, that bike's got more capability than, than you do, or, you know, this is, these tires are better than I'll ever be, or, you know, I don't know, that's what I'm wrestling with right now, I almost dropped my bike during this little 
filming thing. I, uh, I stopped on the side of the road. The road was uh, downhill and I parked nose first downhill. And I just, like an idiot, put it in neutral. I guess out of habit, kind of like I always put it in neutral. But uh, I put it in neutral and as soon as I let go of the bike, as soon as I let go of the bike, it was like, nope, and it started to roll, and it collapsed my, collapsed my uh, kickstand, and I caught the bike, I caught it midair, <laughs> and I was like, Hoo! but I didn't drop it, set it back up on its kickstand, put it in gear, and I was like, wow, John, you're an idiot. That's pretty nice shot. Now that might be a nice shot to get. I should actually go back and get that real quick. An old guy and his dog. I'm gonna be that guy. Do you guys see the picture of Maggie on my Instagram? That was my baby. Let's see if this is going to be a good shot right here. Woo. Looks like looks like if my bike wasn't in the way that that would be a really cool shot. It's zoomed out. Alright. Let's try it. That's what I do, I just set them on a post. Set it on a post like that. I'll just go down there and ride. Let's go ride past it. Not even fast, I'm not looking for a fast shot. I'm looking for a, what do they call it, cinemagraphic. An interesting shot. Yeah. I'll go cruise by it. I get nervous leaving my camera up like that. Thinking somebody's going to drive by and see it sitting there and be like, oh cool, free camera. But hopefully they realize that when it's recording, they're like, oh crap. Oops. Completely out of the camera's view. Ooh, don't hit the guardrail. And that's kind of like a behind the scenes on how you make a video. Or the video that you're about to see. It's all shot by me. It's all... It's me. I think I'll put my bike... How could I do this? Over there, maybe? I don't want the signs in it, though. I just want the bike and the sunset. How would I do that? Hmm. I guess I got some shop making to do. This is the camera I'm using. Sony Handycam. HD. This thing has a 55x zoom on it. I've stood on this side of the lake, like from here to like the near bank over there, shot video. Oops. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to set up my camera over here. Unfortunately for you guys, I've got to use my GoPro because it has this really cool time-lapse feature. And uh, 
So that's what I'm gonna use. I don't know why that zipper screwed up. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my camera kind of like right here, kind of aiming that way. Go to time lapse. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna hang out here for half an hour. Probably kill my battery. But that's okay. I think right here, I won't get any cars in the footage either, so. Alright guys. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for this vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the movie making process behind the scenes a little bit. I know I got a little deep on ya. But answer me in the comments, what is the next step for a guy that's not good at riding, not great at riding, but he knows how to ride? Like you guys can see on my page, you can see exactly how I ride. People like Chase on Two Wheels or... I, I don't even know. Chase on Two Wheels one of them. Yumi R6. You guys, you guys have skill. Maybe that's what I aspire to be like. Be a little bit quicker. Maybe I just need to slow down and learn at my own pace. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Check out my Facebook. I've been posting stuff to that Facebook and I've got two likes on it so far. That's none. Need you guys to go over there and check it out if you would. I'd really appreciate it. It helped me out a lot. Share these videos with your friends. Check me out on Instagram. It's a good way to get a hold of me. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.